Hi everybody, I'm Nathan from Crazy Amazing Designs and welcome to the channel. This is the brand new Entech Octo. It is an incredibly powerful addressable LED strip controller. I've been using it for a special Easter project and I have absolutely been loving it. Our Easter project turned out great and I'm excited to share with you the Octo in this video. I have used several other Entech products in the past and the Octo has been just as solid as all of them. I wanna say that Entech gave me this product, but they didn't say what I could or couldn't say about it. So let's go. My brother Eric and I have a long history of creating very cool stage design projects for our church and various events. In the past, I have used LED strips on a couple of projects. I first used LED strip on a large wooden cross and later built a cross out of PVC pipe and added the LED strip to the edges. Our first pixel mappable LED design came at Christmas of 2020 when we 3D printed triangles, bolted them together in the shape of snowflakes and then soldered LED strip into them. They became the back piece of our stage for our special Christmas service. Let's look at some features of the Entech Octo. The Entech Octo is an eight universe LED pixel controller. It can support a ton of programmable pixels, 1024 RGBW pixels, so that means red, green, blue, white on each LED. So if we multiply that number by four, we get 4,096 single color white LEDs. To control those pixels, the Octo has some useful smart features. One being the ability to quickly check the wiring from a test reset button on the device. When pushed, it sends the LEDs a signal to turn on full white for 10 seconds. This feature uses the standalone mode, so it doesn't need a software connection for the test. Standalone mode is something that can be set up inside the browser interface of the Octo, independent from any network control software. You can set colors on the pixels, patterns, gradients in the lights. This is useful if you just want to keep a simple color and don't need the flexibility of external control software. So I'm not gonna look too much at the networking and the setup of the network aspect of the Entech Octo because in the previous video that I did looking at the Entech ODE, which is a network DMX controller, I went quite extensively in depth with talking about the networking aspect. There is a feature, you could actually call it a smart feature of the Entech Octo called grouping that I wanna mention. This reduces the input channel count necessary to drive the LEDs. So for example, instead of pixels one through five being independent, one and two are linked. So pixels one through five become pixels one through 10, and it only uses five sets of pixel channels. Let's take a look at project design and implementation. So let's talk about this Easter project and how I implemented the Intech Octo. The week leading up to Easter, I gathered the Intech Octo and the WS2812 LED strip I'd purchased. I borrowed a sheet of insulation foam from a previous project and I got to work. So for this project, I wanted a black surface to avoid distractions. There were some things behind it, so I needed a nice place to build on. So once I had the material I was gonna be using, I measured the location the project would be going, then I sat down to design the whole thing in Fusion 360. This way, while we build it, we knew how big the foam needed to be, how big the design would be on the sheet of foam, and had measurements for the angles that we needed. We measured on the foam, we cut the LED strip, we soldered the joints, we glued things in place, and just like that, we are finished. So what we built here is a cross. I was inspired by the graphic on my Jesus Bible from Passion City Church in Atlanta. Easter happens on Sunday because this is a resurrection story. On Friday, Jesus was beaten and killed on the Roman cross. Jesus was dead. These men were professional killers and despite that, he rose from the grave on Sunday. Not returning as a ghost, but as himself. People spoke with him, they touched the scars on him. The cross is a symbol of death, but Jesus turned it into a symbol of death to life. And this is what happens when you choose to follow Jesus. Your sins are forgiven and your eternal story goes from eternal death to eternal life. Well, with the physical design now ready to go, we can move on to the wiring. The Octo can have several configurations based on the LED strip and power supply you're using. Diagrams can be found on the Intech website. So with this WS2812 LED strip, I have ground and signal going from the strip into input one on the Octo. Then I have 12 volt power supply being connected to the DC power input on the Octo. This strip has no clock, so I leave that open. You know, when you're building your LED strip design, be sure to think through voltage drop from your first pixel to your last pixel. Keep the distance between the power supply and controller as short as possible to reduce the power loss on the five volt line. 
something we learned when we built the snowflake design, but ironically failed to implement here, was that on the snowflakes, we needed a main power run going through the center of the project, powering each section of the snowflake. This refreshes the five volt current as it splinters off into various sections of the snowflake. I think the most common issue with LED strip projects are as a result of not getting enough power to the end of the strip. Entech has some great examples on their website as well as on the help page of the web interface of the Octo. These examples look at injecting power at the beginning of the strip and in various places in the middle of the strip and then again in the end of the strip. For our design, here is the signal path we took our signal, 5 volt, and ground. As you can see, we follow a signal path across all of the pixels on the design. With how I have the wiring done, we can't set all the pixels to a solid 100% white. Here is roughly what we get when we do that. You can see the discoloration as the voltage is slowly lost through the strips. I'm not super worried about this though because I don't need all the pixels at 100%. However, to make this better, I could either add a 5 volt power line on the end of the LED strip, which would reduce the voltage drop on the second half of the LEDs and bring it towards the middle, and or I could run 5 volt and ground to all three strips at the bottom and run a line to the top and do the same thing to power each strip from that line. This keeps the power from traveling through other LEDs before getting to its destination. When we got the design up and running, it looked great, and we're still super excited with how it turned out. I was able to display simple content through the standalone mode and then motion video content through Resolu Marina. Be sure to check out that video. The next day when we got it installed at church for Easter, we almost immediately started having issues with the controller crashing, but the LEDs would stay on, frozen in their last known state. It turned out the barrel connector on the 12 volt power supply we had on the controller wasn't making proper connection. Crazy. <laughs> The controller was only being powered from the remaining power from the LED strip, but it wasn't enough. So it's super cool to realize that the controller can be powered by the same power supply as the LED strip, but also important to know that if there isn't enough power, the controller might crash. I reached out to NTech support with this problem and they responded quickly and with several great troubleshooting questions. When purchasing a product, it's good to know that the company has quality, dedicated tech support people who are ready to help out if a problem comes up. The Entech Octo is a great controller. Super big shout out to Entech for sending it to me. I learned a lot about the controller and LED strips for this project, and I already have some great ideas for the future. The purpose of this channel is to help churches, teams, and individuals do church and event production well. We post content weekly on the channel, so follow us on Instagram and join our Facebook group at Crazy Amazing Designs. See you next time. Hey, be sure to check out the next video where I talk about controlling the cross with Resolu Marina. Resolum does an incredible job pixel mapping each LED and then displaying content over the design. Then I'm going to use my church lighting rig to control Resolum, which is playing content on the cross.